It's a conversation many of you might be having with your parents as they age. Should they still be driving? Across the state, there are more than 83,000 licensed drivers over 85 and more than 350,000 over 75. With the older population expected to rise over the next 20 years, many of us wonder when it's time for our loved ones to stop driving. Michelle Alfini is digging deeper to learn what signs point to the end of the road. It was in the summer, the sun was out, it was hot, and I, I think a combination of all of those things just made my eyes just close. As soon as my tires hit that rumble strip, I woke up. And I that was Sue Kaisley's last day behind the wheel. Probably fear was my biggest feeling. I just, I just can't do this. At 84 years old, diagnosed with diabetes, she says she sometimes dipped in and out of consciousness. Nothing happened, but I thought, my luck's going to run out. One of these days, I'm going to hit someone, and I could not live with myself if I hurt someone else. But for others. I must have put on the accelerator in front of the church. The wake-up call comes suddenly. And went right through the glass doors. Raymond Gein says no one was hurt. But at 82, his decades of driving were over. And then they said, well, we got to take your license away. These stories are more common than you'd think. 27 News obtained one week of driver condition or behavior reports submitted to the Wisconsin DMV, finding 36 cases of drivers appearing disoriented, suffering from poor vision, or blacking out on the road. It's a balance between the individual and society. Dr. Marianne Relke is an occupational therapist with Unity Point Health. Go ahead and put your foot on the gas. Specializing in testing a driver's fitness. Driving is really automatic, and we tend to think we've been doing it so long, there is no issue and it's easy to do. But there's like uh, 60 decisions that we make in a minute while we're driving. Relke deals with drivers facing a variety of medical concerns, but the majority of our patients are older. Their thinking speed might be a little bit slower, or how they physically get to the gas and brake is slower. Tools like this give her an objective measure. This looks at someone's visual reaction speed, arm reaction speed, thinking skills. Helping her determine if and under what conditions drivers should get behind the wheel. So yes, you can drive, but it's a good idea not to drive on roads posted 45 miles an hour or greater. Kaisley decided it was all or nothing. I didn't want them to have to tell me Quit driving, Mom, because that's a tough decision for kids to make. While Gein misses his car every day. But a life changes, I guess, and I'm not the young chicken anymore. <laughs> we know that, that being able to drive in our society these days keeps people living in their home, keeping them independent. Keeping so Relke says taking the keys away is never an easy decision. Having a family conversation is really important. There's so much conflict in families about driving. But Kaisley says most drivers know when they've reached the end of the road. Take a good look at your driving and know in your heart that you're safe. If you, or, and if you don't, get out. Doctors say there's no magic age when drivers are too old. Here in Wisconsin, drivers over 65 account for 1 in 10 crashes across the state. But that's still half as many as drivers under 25. And the DOT claims that's likely because older drivers are less likely to speed, drink, or drive distracted.